So yeah, it's just a, another angle of these uh, like jellyfish things. Let's go a little bit, a little bit closer. And welcome back to a brand new video. So today we're gonna have a, a quick look at Blackpool Lightpool before it actually starts, because there's lots of things going on. And uh, yeah, so it's a bit of a guide, this video. So if you are thinking about coming down or you want to see it, we're gonna have all the information in this video and in the description. So let's get right into the video and see what preparations are installed for this amazing light pool event starting tonight. Let's get going. the attractions out already and imagine this is what you you pop your face in if I remember rightly and uh, you see the there's like a bird there so it's all starting to happen um, in Blackpool ready for tonight so yeah we're gonna head on a little bit further and like I said there's all sorts of attractions and everything uh, what has been laid on so it's this is gonna be an amazing event so we're just near the uh, Metropole and we're gonna walk around to the first of the uh, the light pool um, sort of displays, so uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll keep going. So this is just near the uh, the metropole. So it's like a little crazy golf, and you see, with the uh, the grass, this is uh, hasn't been used for quite a while. And uh, yeah, so in the summer, these uh, this is opened up. I pop the camera around to the uh, to the right, and you can see, like I said, it's a. Uh, a little overgrown at the moment. So this is just one section of the uh, the light pool. You can see work's avidly going on, uh, and it's a bit of a race against time uh, for this one. You see everything's uh, yeah, this being sort of uh, sort of erected for the last few days. I think it started on Monday, and uh, yeah, it's uh, almost like a all hands to the pump looks like for uh, for it to be ready. And you can just see uh, the magnificent sort of display of what's going to happen. Like I said, it's, it's been nearly a week for this certain section to uh, to get built. So that, that uh, sort of gentleman there is holding like what looks like a rod, but all those are lights. And you can just see, you know, how spectacular uh, this this certain part of the uh, the event is going to look. So I'm just going to walk on a little further and uh, you can see these containers uh, is all directly in front. Now it looks like they're going to be projected onto the, uh, the wedding chapel if I'm not mistaken. I thought it was something to do with the, uh, the monsters coming to Blackpool. They're sort of uh, the monster hunt. But around the other side it's all like see-through now. And you can see like the, uh, the seats and all sorts and that. So we're going to have a, a quick look. Uh, and just see so if we can see it from the uh, the other side, because someone mentioned in the comment it's going to be projected onto the uh, the wedding chapel. So that'll be uh, an interesting one. So let's uh, just pan the camera right round to the right, and uh, we'll have a look. So there we go. You can see just in the uh, the like a window, clear glazed window, is all projected, and that's going to project onto the uh, the wedding chapel tonight. And like I said, that's just uh, one of many areas um, what's going to be lit up tonight. So as we approach the, uh, the comedy carpet, you see the, uh, one of the uh, lollipops swaying. This is another one, um, what's all going to be uh, lit up. And uh, they've got so many things. So we're going to have a, a good look at them all. Again, like I said, this is another light projection what's going to be uh, in full swing later on. Look at all those spirals on it. And uh, there's also things going on um, on the comedy carpet. I don't know what this is all about here. That's sort of uh, cordoned off. And uh, yeah, not too sure. It's a, it looks like some sort of lighting display. You see work still being carried out. We've got tins of paint on there. Look at that. So I'd imagine this would be a, another lighting display. So yeah, as we move uh, even more further towards Central Pier, 
and um, we've got the, uh, the marquee so we've seen that a few times yeah we'll have a, a bit of look because you can see some uh, great lights uh, which are all going to be lit up so this is like I said a bit of a bit of a preview of what to expect so yeah that's the uh, the marquee so it looks like it's all closed off so it'll be a, a nice surprise what's going on there if it's like a uh, sort of possible like a band playing or if it's little shops who knows that'll be a, a great surprise what's going on but yeah let's, uh, let's have a look at these other lights because these look really like mushrooms I was sort of describing this like a mushroom shape. And you can see the uh, Blackpool Council is uh, still working on them. And uh, yeah, look at those. They look fantastic. Look at that. See all that? The, uh, the other little sort of mushrooms, sort of a jellyfish, shall I say. That's the one, jellyfish. We got a sort of purple, a pink, and a green one. There's many events in Blackpool. You know what's uh, important on the calendar: the illuminations. We've got the Christmas market. We've got all sorts of huge events. And you can see the uh, it's like huge jellyfish, just sort of uh, hanging from the uh, from the top. So that'll be a, a great one later on. Look at that. It's amazing. Just. Uh, Having a bit of a look at the uh, the sea, because every day it's different. You see the uh, the tides, and it's it's quite calm to be fair. You know, just a handful of seagulls around, uh, sort of just dancing on the uh, on the waves. So, yeah, it's just a, another angle of these uh, like jellyfish things. Let's go a little bit, a little bit closer. And uh, like I said, this is going to be uh, an amazing. An amazing event, one of the uh, the good ones in the calendar. Like I said, the uh, one of many, many. So just a little bit of news on the uh, the old post office site. <laughs> it's okay, carry on. <laughs> oh, it's fine. So apologies for all that. Yeah. So this uh, the old post office site. So it's in key stages uh, to be developed into a, a luxury indigo branded hotel. So the agreements are uh, all now in the process of being signed off. And by the developer. Um, so they sort of the pave the way for surveyors um, and demonstrate the project remains viable or not. So yeah, it's in key stages of the old post. So let me know what you think in the comments of uh, a brand new hotel possibly being uh, built here. Like it is a grade two um, listed building. It's been empty since 2007. And it's falling more and more into uh, disrepair as the time goes on. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think of that one. Um, like I said, the group is, uh, is, is, is hoping to uh, get it all signed off, like I said, for the, uh, the surveyors to start their, uh, their report. So uh, yeah, it should be a, a fantastic project when this uh, gets underway. So it's going to head on down to uh, Clifton Street, back to, uh, to North Pier, and uh, probably sort of end the video ready for tonight's uh, light pool switch on. So yeah, everything will be in the description in regards to the uh, the old post office and the light pool. So you do fancy a bit of a light reading, uh, make sure you go and check the uh, the description out. So like I said, everything um, will be in there. But yeah, what a fantastic uh, event is going to be tonight. So I hope you uh, enjoy the video later on. We might possibly do a live one day um, and cover the, uh, the light pool for everybody. So again, just sort of stop, and you sort of keep stopping when you, you're filming because you just come across different things. And this one, you know, obviously people walk past it many a time, but just look at that magnificent building. You know, all the character and charm and everything about it. You know, I mean, we don't build buildings like this nowadays. Everything just seems to be like sort of red brick and basic plain. But, you know, back in the days, you used to have so much charm and characters about each and every building. Uh, you know, and that's, I mean, that's just my opinion. Whether you agree or disagree, it is down to uh, to personal preference. But again, just lovely constructions, and uh, you know, like the uh, like the counting house. You know, another you know it's been there for years and years. The building, another fantastic building. Um, you know, with the uh, the character and charm.
So I hope you enjoyed this uh, bit of a preview of what's to come with the uh, light pool. So we haven't really sort of scratched the surface, but yeah, it's just a little insight. Like I said, everything will be in the description. Um, and like I said, we'll be uh, doing another video later on. So it's a, it's a buy from me at the moment. And it's also a, uh, it's a buy from Old Dolly as well in Blackpool. Take care. Bye-bye.